When I made a video last month saying that Concord is dead on arrival, I think myself and many others expected an inevitably poor launch for the game. But what we didn't expect was what we're seeing on Steam charts right now. Concord, a game by PlayStation, was reportedly in the works for 8 years, which is since Overwatch launched. Obviously no coincidence there given the many similarities. However, Concord launched with 660 concurrent players on Steam. 660. That's like 5 times less than Paladins, which is a game that came out almost 10 years ago. Another Overwatch clone style game. Now many people may look at this and say, well, it's a PlayStation game. The audience is predominantly on the PlayStation 5. But the thing is, even if the audience on PlayStation was 10 times more, hell, even 20 times more than the audience on Steam, this would still be an abysmal launch for the game. They would need 50 times the amount of players they have to consider this a good launch. To put this into perspective, we can do some quick maths. Quick maths! The game's peak is 660 people online at one given time, so let's say that that's 10% of the audience, so let's assume 6,600 people actually purchased the game. The game is $40. 6,600 people buying at $40 is $264,000. Some of you may look at $264,000 and think, damn, that's a good amount of money to make in one day. Well, the rumours are the game costs between $50 and $80 million to make. So to make back even half of the game's rumoured budget, they would need to sell 660,000 copies at $40 which is basically impossible. It's not going to happen. This game is a flop. I doubt this game will even make $1 million in revenue. This is quite possibly the biggest flop of the year. I mean, Redfall launched with 6,000 players when it came to Steam. <laughs> Ubisoft's Skull and Bones, the first tr quadruple A game is what they called it, right? <laughs> Has more players right now. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League that lost $200 million, launched with 13,000 concurrent players on Steam. And finally, last year's horrible game, Gollum, launched with more players. I literally can't come up with another game that's even remotely close to the embarrassing launch of Concord. What happens now? I think one of two things. Either one, they will kill the game because it will cost them more money to maintain the servers and live service aspect than they're going to make from purchases, or they'll put it on PlayStation Plus so that they can get some revenue that way. But even then, I don't think they'll make their money back. What likely needs to happen is the game has to go free to play. According to the people that do play, the game actually isn't that bad, but there's a huge barrier to entry, and that's the cost. So maybe it could be somewhat saved if it went free to play, and they did the whole, you know, microtransaction to buy skins, etc. You would have to refund or give the people that, you know, purchased the game initially something like a founder's pack with extra, you know, skins, weapons, uh, maybe the game's soundtrack, etc, etc, etc. But I think going free to play is not likely to happen. The game doesn't have a revenue model for a free to play live service game. The whole selling point was that it costs money and therefore it would launch with enough content and not need to drip feed things like characters and battle passes and new maps etc. So what do you do? They'd have to work incredibly fast to start introducing these things which would cost even more money. The most likely thing to happen is the game will just die. I mean if you're a player that paid the $40 for this and you have yet to play the two hours that Steam allows you before you ask for a refund, I'd ask for a refund. It's very very likely that they will just end development and shut down the game because spending more time on further development is just going to be burning cash. So yeah, my advice would be get your refund uh, while you can and because, you know, this all happened because of a couple of things. One, it likely took too long to develop. The hero shooter market is now extremely saturated and if you're going to launch a paid title, you better be damn sure that you are 10 times better than all of the free-to-play options, which this game clearly isn't. It's probably as good as the free-to-play options. So it was late to the party, it costs $40, it's in a saturated market, and also, nobody asked for this. 
It's a game that nobody wanted or nobody needed. This game does not need to exist. It's something that chased the trend to chase the bag and it hasn't worked out at all. What I also don't understand is how Sony like managed this. How did you fail to read the market for this type of game? Like it should have been free to play, definitely not paid because $40 just doesn't work when there are so many alternatives that are free to play. Like Concord, according to people that played, as I said, isn't a bad game, but there was no way that people were going to pay $40 for it. Hell, even if this had a sale at 50% off, people still aren't paying $20 for a game that is on par with free-to-play alternatives. And I've said this so many times over the past few years. If you're an unknown IP launching a shooter game that is on par with free-to-play alternatives since 2020, like since the pandemic, you're setting yourself up for failure if you price your game at anything above like $5. There's far too many live service alternatives and far too many just live service games in general out right now, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, but yeah, too many people are put off by the numerous things wrong with this game and obviously the price tag. And I just think this was the most obvious flop ever. Like everyone, as soon as this game was announced, everyone was just preying on this game's downfall and saying, yeah, this is just going to die on arrival, it's going to be a flop. And it's just baffling how no one on the development team spoke out and said, hey, this game is uh, not going to do very well. They just continued making it and continued spending money on it as if they truly believed that this would break the market and break into the top 1% of games. Like, what? How dumb can you be? It baffles me that these people are running studios. Finally, to end off as well, uh, the game has around a 70% um, positive review rating on Steam, which, like, isn't terrible, but it's, you know, it's just a positive review. Uh, it, it, in fact, it was mixed when the game launched. It's gone up since, uh, but only 229 reviews, and yeah, 70%. Um, is what it's uh, currently sitting at. There's many reviews that say things like the game is lacking content as well. Apparently it's uh, short on game modes and maps um, and obviously lacks inspiration and matches uh, feel decided in the first minute apparently. I don't know how that works but uh, yeah there's apparently not many options to turn the tide once the snowball starts so yeah that's uh, that's people's outlook on the game. Um, few people saying things like characters are ugly, uh, UI is ugly as well, um, gameplay is fun, but the major issue is that the game is dead on arrival. So yeah, the game not having many players at launch can also be a, a reason that people leave negative reviews. The game can be as good as, you know, it can be as good as ever, but if only a couple hundred people play it and it takes you five minutes to find a match, that ultimately is going to leave a very negative impact on a person's review of the game. So yeah. The only way to save it, possibly, free to play. That is it. Um, which, as I said, I don't think will happen. So, likely dead. Get your refund while you can. That's my opinion, as I said. And that's going to be the uh, end of the video. Yeah, thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Also, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like the video. I never say those things. I need to start doing it. Because, um, yeah, um, a ton of people that watch my content aren't subscribed. I think it's like... 66% are not subscribed or something according to my uh, YouTube studio so subscribe uh, maybe one day we'll hit 20k <laughs>